Hi friends, today I am going to show you how to install FortiGate in VMware Workstation environment. So for that, let's start the VMware Workstation and let's go and open a new OVF file. OVF nothing but the open visualization format. So open virtual machine format. So you just need to export the OVF file which you have downloaded from the Fortinet website. So I'm just going to select this OVF format file and that is a VM64 bit version. Select open and it will ask for the name. So here you can give FortiGate Firewall VM. So after giving the name for the virtual machine, select import. So at this point, it will ask for a license agreement from the FortiGate firewall. You just need to select accept. So here it was imported. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the network adapter settings from bridged to host only. So let's edit the virtual machine settings and here just select and select VM host only network. So I have changed it for everyone, every adapter, so select and make sure that you have 1 GB of RAM, 1 processor and 2 GB SCSI hard disk and the hard disk 2 is 30 GB and make sure this option was enabled that is connected the power on and select OK. Now you can start your virtual machine, I'm going to the full screen. So the formatting of the hard disk was done here. So it will start the operating system. So if you see it was started. So the default username is admin and there's no password. Just you can just enter the button enter button so that you can go directly into the command line interface. So you can configure the IP address for this. 40 OS so here you can see no IP address was configured for the port so just log in again Here you can see no IP was configured for the port 1, 2, 3 or any other thing. So what I am going to do is I am going to configure the IP address for the port. Interface type edit port 1 and hit enter. Here you need to set the IP address. Here I will give my 
IP address which I have configured in my virtual network and I will also allow access to these ports like HTTP, HTTPS, Telnet, Ping and SSH. So I have allowed the access to these ports so that I can open this Fortinet in the browser. So I will close the command line interface editing option and and I'm going to review the changes which I have made. So here you can see the IP address which I have given is 5.130 and the subnet which I have is given and I have also enabled the ping HTTPS, SSH and HTTP and telnet for this port so it's done let's execute something here so you can see it was pinging to this IP address that is the IP address which I have given now so now let's go directly into the host machine and here I will try to ping that IP address that is a 5.130 which I have given to the 14.2 OS so it was pinging so now I am just going to SSH to 130 and here you can see it was asking and it has logged in successfully and here you can see you can get the details of the IP address and I will also tell it asking for the username password yeah here you can see the telnet successfully executed and now I'll just exit and open my command line interface and here So I have executed the command line interface and you can see the login page here. So let's try to execute HTTPS. And here you can see it was not executing in uh, HTTPS. So can only connect it through HTTP give the username and the password that is a default password which I have told them previously and here you can get the status and here you can see it was only having 15 days of evaluation period so just click remind later and here you can see everything the VM 64 bit version and the firmware version is 5.0 and so this is the firmware version which you have in the VM 64 VM version of the 40 gate OS So here you can see the license, it was having a valid license here.
button here you can see the console so this is how this is how you can install and configure the VM 64 bit version of the FortiGate in VM workstation I think this video might be helpful for you to most of the guys to work and play with the Fortinet without the hardware that is you have a trial version of the Fortinet OS which can be configured in the VMware workstation so this is much helpful for most of the guys those who are eagerly trying to study the Fortinet firewall without buying the Fortinet device so for more and more videos just subscribe so that I can post more and more videos on the FortiGate and more and more videos on the servers too and thank you for watching the video please subscribe for more videos so that I can provide more videos to you friends thank you for watching the videos